Hi everybody, Pastor Aaron Wells, back again, uh, just talking about the promises of God, God's love for us. Um, it's been a while, miss you, want to say hello, want to send a shout out to my, uh, my Aunt Liz, 90, 91 in July, my sweetheart, just want to say hello and um, I send my love. I'm also, I have this uh, Philadelphia void going on right now and I'm missing my my hometown of Philly and my family and my friends. And I just want to send, um, I love you to all my people in Philly, um, shout out. The Bible says that in, in, in Romans 8, says that we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. And we often quote that scripture as we engage in spiritual warfare and spiritual battle. But the scripture prior says that we are counted as sheep for the slaughter, that um, the enemy of our, of our soul, uh, the world systems, they have counted us out, have made us disposable, have thought that our addiction and our failures and our, our faults and our sins and um, all of our mishaps and miscues and all of the calamities of life have counted us out. And, and, and the enemy of our soul uh, have, have, have believed and thought that when we were down, we were down and out. We were down for the count. That, the rubble and the, the rubbish that covered us, um, that we were consumed. But my God says this, in all these things, in all the things that have happened to you, in all the things that you've gone through, in all the things that you have dealt with, he says through him, through Christ, you are more than a conqueror. That is such good news tonight. Um, I don't know who's going to get this, who's, who's, who's receiving this, but you need to know that God's love has kept you, that God's purpose and destiny for you has kept you through some of those tough times. And not, not just you, your, your family, uh, your, your friends, those that you have associated and connected your, your heart with and your emotions with, and you've watched some people struggle through some things, but God says in this, you're more than a conqueror. You, you just don't win, you're the winner of the winners. Um, you just don't overcome, you're the overcomer of the overcomers. There is something great and mighty that God has in store for you. The first thing that we have to do is recognize and realize. Um, look at you, you might be dusty, a little worn, a little bruised by what life has brought your way, but you are still here. And the reason I know is because you're watching this. Um, you might have gone through some things that try to consume you but you are still here. You know why? Because you are more than a conqueror through him who loved you. The Bible tells us in 1 Corinthians uh, 15, I think it's 50, 57, um, that we have victory through Jesus Christ. You are strong, you are mighty. You are one who fights with the weapons of God. You are one who fights with the weapon of praise and the weapon of truth and the, the word of God and with God's righteousness. You, you are one who allows God's faithfulness to scoop you and pick you up. God tells you and promises you that you have been endowed, that you are printed in his hand. He says that no one can snatch you out. You belong to God. You say, well, I've never made a profession of faith um, in God. Well, that's okay. Tonight that tonight you can. Tonight is the night that you can cry out to God and let him know that you not only want something different, you want something better. Let him know. Uh, be bold enough to uh, decide to experience God for yourself. Decide to experience God's love, God's mercy, and God's, God's grace for you. God loves you tonight. And after all you've been through, I know you feel counted out and sometimes you feel as though it's consumed you and it's over and there's nothing left for you and you've blown it all. The devil is a liar. You got me on this one? You are more than a conqueror through him who loved you. Stand up. Take a stand for God tonight. And that stand is simply to say, God, I want your son Jesus in my life. 
uh, surrender your life to God tonight. It's a great life. It's a great world. Live the victorious life that God has called you to live through it all, whatever you're going through. If you've tried it all, try God. I love you. It's simple tonight. Short, sweet, right? I love you. See you later. I'm looking at you. God loves you. Bye-bye.